Now that we're in week seven of remote working, teaching, learning, and everything in between, most of it not done thoughtfully and planned out over weeks or months, but in our case, done over two days. There's a lot of lessons that are coming out of this process over the last seven weeks. And ultimately, I would group them into five high-level categories of focus and priorities for us all as we move forward. One, it's always people first. Make sure you have the right people in your team. Make sure you invest in them. Make sure you proactively attract top talent and find ways to keep them interested and engaged and retain them long term. It's always people first in every area, whether it's IT, academic affairs, student life, enrollment, advancement, finance, campus safety, no matter what area of your university needs to function, it always depends on people and quality of those people. Number two is training. Make sure it's proactive, make sure it's available year round, make sure it's available in different ways and different forms. In person, remotely, uh, documentation, images, videos, interactive websites. Different people learn differently and they have different um, time to dedicate to that training. So it is on us to provide as many options as possible and hold people's hands when needed on this journey. Number three is whenever in doubt, say it again, communicate. Communication is essential. Sometimes you have to say the same thing multiple times for it to finally click in for some individuals and therefore never underestimate communication. Don't think you're annoying or that you're frustrating and challenging. Be mindful, get to the point. Don't write war and peace novels in your emails or, or memos, but get to the point. It could be a paragraph or two or three. Find out what's needed, provide a solution, ask for feedback and move on. Number four are partnerships. And I don't mean just vendors, those who you're kind of exploring ideas with, but true partners. Many partners have stepped up and proven their value over the last seven weeks and will continue to do that for many, many weeks and many months to come. Others, not as much. And now you know where you stand. Who are your true partners who are in this with you? And make sure you honor and support those relationships going forward. This is a team effort. And your partners who are physically outside your university and not your university employees are critical in your success. Last five are technology solutions. Once you've done through all of these things, you're going to find out what are those software applications that you may need? What are these maybe managed services that you need? What are these automated tools? And, and, and whether it's machine learning or RPA or something else in between that you and your university can leverage for collective growth and success moving forward. You look at the infrastructure, you look at the power. What happens if your campus loses power? Everybody's home and your campus lost power. Will you still be able to function? Are your things moved into the cloud, into the right cloud? Is that cloud geographically diverse and placed, backed up from northeast to, let's say, Vegas and so forth? You look at your supply chain. What do you order equipment for your lab research, for your academic research, for teaching, laptops, other peripheral devices? Look at your supply chain. Look at your inventory. Do you have 3% of what's in your production currently in your stash? And if you don't, why not? Perhaps you should. So those are the five areas of focus, high level. There's a lot of tactical, tactical, technical and tactical details between them and below them. But ultimately, it comes down to people, training, communication, partnerships, and then tech solutions. Have a wonderful day. If this is the first video you see. As always, please let me, let me know what your thoughts are. Consider subscribing below and share it with your friends and colleagues. Good luck on this journey and keep moving forward.